Hello, my darlings. Hope you're all doing well. So in this pick a card reading, we're going to be taking a look whether the person you're asking about wants to be together with you. All right. So I have three options for you, my dears. Option number one, option number two, and option number three. Don't overthink it. See which one you were mostly drawn to. And let's go ahead and get started. My lovely option number one. And welcome to you reading, guys. So let's take a look at the messages from the oracle. Does this person want to be with you? Think about yourselves. Think about the person that you're asking about. Envision your energies coming closer together. And let's take a look what's happening over here. You're trying to hard. Give it time. Okay. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of your friendship. Right? Within your relationship. And your love will dramatically improve and then we have the weight card again <laughs> oh my god don't rush into it allow nature to take its course okay so i'm sensing a little bit of frustration over here guys because you might be friends with this particular person yeah uh, you might want clarity you might want to take it to the next level you want like a clear understanding i keep hearing clarity 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 oh my god i just want to know what this person wants but um let me see if it is yeah look even here at the bottom of the deck they're giving me the friendship energy right so this feels like a very slow moving scenario So for some of you, this bond was initially created um, based on some sort of drama from your end or from their end. You kind of maybe bonded over relationships that didn't work out or previous um, happenings, right? That had to do with ooh, maybe difficult situations. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into this energy, but I'm, they're kind of giving me like an energy of like a third party situation, a triangle, certain relationships that are not completely resolved, right? Mm -hmm. And yet there's this very special bond between the two of you. Almost like being unable to make a choice, being unable to open up the heart. being afraid of being hurt and again maybe having loads and loads of aspects that influence the possibility of being as clear as possible when it comes to this connection so here i'm going to dig deeper guys because this person they definitely want to be close to you they definitely want to keep on communicating with you they definitely crave like your energy right but do they want to be with you romantically because here like the universe through the cards they're literally like screaming like hold on don't rush things don't Oof. It's almost like you're trying to pick the apples when they haven't completely ripened just yet. And I see that there's some sort of sexual tension between the two of you as well. Like sexual attraction, chemistry is definitely present in your connection for sure. And both of you, you want to invest, you know, like there's this energy of gifts and time and things like this. Mm, but it kind of feels like the person that you're asking about, they're a little bit afraid of asking you out like on a date date. Or they're waiting for you to be in a certain state of mind to make that move, you know. 
Maybe something in the way that you act or behave has made them feel that they need to slow down as well. Because here they definitely view you as somebody who's attractive. Here they definitely view you with all of the sixes, that you have a lot of, of things in common. Because sixes, when we're talking about relationships reading, uh, this does talk about harmony and things like this, you know. So it's a very good sign. Mm -hmm. But it feels like somebody's getting over a breakup or somebody's in the midst of a breakup. And like there's this choice whether, whether they're ready to love again, whether they're ready to open up again. Uh, but at the same time, the choice is in their head, but their heart is kind of reaching out towards you. And it kind of feels like they don't want to put a label on it just yet because they don't want to confuse anybody. Uh, not you, not themselves. Oof, but the sparks are flying over here. Damn, guys. Honestly, there's this energy where oof, sometimes it's getting hard to, to just be friends, <laughs> to keep your hands off of one another, you know? Now, for some of you, it does feel like, you know, you're asking about a person maybe that you're working with. This could be a colleague. And uh, they have to consider all of the things that could could go wrong if you go in a relationship together, right? Um, they have to keep in mind, you know, like maybe the rules of the workplace, maybe the gossip that might come with it, maybe the consequences, uh, you know, like if you go in a relationship and then there's a fight and you still have to see each other at work and you know what I mean, how it could affect both of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's put it that way. They do want to be together with you for now as friends with an open possibility of what could happen in the future. Again, the cards are saying give it time. Give it whoop, time. Because to be quite honest with you, uh, maybe you're dealing with somebody who's younger and uh, there might be a difference in the way that you see relationships and the way that you see intimacy um, and in your readiness to go into a relationship and like your expectations of, uh, of, the, of a relationship could be different. There's something about the other person that you're asking about them needing to transition into more mature and stable energy into more emotional clarity, if you will, right? So, like I said, you know, they do want to be with you for now as friends uh, and wanting to see where this could go. Don't rush into things, the cards are suggesting, for the third time or for the fourth time, right? Uh, because they are romantically drawn to you guys. But I'm not going to repeat everything I already said. Um, there are certain obstacles, there are certain scenarios that are happening that might not allow this to move as fast as you would like it to, or they would like it to. But here they're telling me timing is crucial. Timing is crucial over here. Okay. But naturally, it does feel like the progression is leaning towards um, you connecting stronger and in a romantic way. Okay, my lovely option number one. That's what I see for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. If you're up for personal one, send me an email. The email is in the description box below this video. And of course, yeah, do check my Patreon page out as well. The link is also in the description video below. All right, guys, take care now. Bye. Option number two, and welcome to your reading, guys. If you were drawn to this particular image, I have news for you. There are two more. <laughs> All right, shall we go ahead and take a look?
let's see what's happening. Let's start with the dove over here. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a high purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All right, so it looks like you guys are struggling a little bit. Let me take a look at the other ones. Um, my beloved, though we might be physically apart, spiritually we're always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And the third card over here, transformation. Your relationship will uh, with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. All right, let me open this up, guys, because it kind of feels like you, you're struggling over here. Um... So to be quite honest with you guys, right from the get-go, the energy that I'm getting from here um, might sound weird, might not resonate with everybody, but this is what I'm getting. The person that you're asking about at this particular moment, these are not the messages from him or her. This is something else. It's kind of like I'm getting two different people over here. But the person that you're asking about is crucial, is key to you connecting with, with like this other person. So let me see uh, what's happening over here. It's a little bit of a confusing energy, but it is what it is. So the person that you, you're asking about might be at a little bit of a distance, yeah, whether physically or emotionally, because they're saying like, uh, we might be apart. A lot of you guys, you want to get married already. Like for quite a few of you, I'm seeing like one of your wishes is to be married. And the person that you're asking about, it's either they're unavailable, either that they're having issues with money, uh, or you can't completely understand whether you can trust them or not, you know? might be in no contact right now, there might be conflict, there might be like blocking each other on social media and all of that. Let's keep pulling at that thread. <laughs> and the same card comes through. Um, so the cards are kind of coming through with a particular message for you, my lovely option number two, they think that there are more options for you uh, than you think. They're saying don't be afraid of doing something uh, just because the lack mentality is kind of hanging over your head like a black cloud, yeah? Where the thoughts of, you know, this is the only person and I'll never find somebody else because I keep telling you, my dears, this is very, very interesting energy that this message of transformation, of, of somebody coming through, telling you that they're not physically with you, but spiritually they are, is coming from somebody else, not the person that you're asking about. All right, so let's see whether the person that you are asking about wants to be together with you. And then I'll deal with these two cards. See, they're not, they're not sure. They're, they're choosing. They're choosing between you and other person or you and other people. Um, it's almost like right now, um, this person has their ego hurt and they're kind of looking for validation. Maybe from other people, from wherever they can get it whether it's social media or whatever. See, they're going to mess it up with um, with all of those choices that they think they have. Because I'm going to put it that way, like the choices that they have and the choices that you have are very, very different people. Are very different people. Uh, 
um, the person that you're asking about, they're quite... Oh, how do I put this? They need to go through a particular stage in their life. Because they keep going backwards and forwards and it's very undecided. And they can't take no for an answer. They take it like to heart. They take it very personally. They seem to be more preoccupied with the matters of the flesh. Let's put it that way, yeah? Rather than maybe love and things like this. Because every time it starts developing into something that requires intimacy, they stop. They, they do something to sabotage this relationship. So, what's coming through over here for you? My lovely option number two. Um, they only want to be with you when it comes to uh, being together on their terms and allowing them to be themselves, yet they will try to maybe change you or change your reaction to the way that they behave. So, like, they want to be with you on their own terms, and I don't think that your terms and conditions are the same. You can't seem to agree on it. Of the details, if you will. Now, uh, the cards again are saying that this person is important because they're bringing into your life this other person. Two sevens. They're bringing into your life this other person. Seems like the energy is a little bit chaotic, guys. Um, but they're telling me if you look at it from a different perspective, from the perspective of your higher self, it all makes sense. Because they're bringing into your life somebody who will really want to be with you. Could be happening within the next 4 to 11 months. Some of you guys are Libras. They're just telling me that, you know, guys, you're going to get fed up with, with, with the way that they're behaving. Um, and then they will want to be with you. But I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't feel like you will want to be with them. Uh, because they're showing me like, you know, there's only, there's only so many ways that you can torture a heart before it just goes, no, you know what, no more. Enough, I'm done. Um, and they're not being too specific on who they're bringing in. They're just telling me that, you know what, it's definitely... Somebody who is with you in spirit already. Somebody who's meant to come into your life through this other person that you're asking about. And this person is mm, coming through with love. Yeah. They're coming through with love over here. Because they're showing you that your feelings for this other person, your connection to this other person, it ends. And then they make space for the new one. And then you got this very interesting persona coming through. Very smart. Yeah. Very structured as well. But they have such a beautiful soft side to them that you help them open up. So a lot of Libra energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is coming through. Uh, this person could be from abroad or somebody who just likes to travel a lot. Uh, there's connection to loads and loads of countries. I'm seeing loads of stamps in their passport. Yeah, for some of you, I don't know, I'm even getting like a pilot or, um, what is it? Like a member of the of the crew on an airplane. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I see for you. My amazing option number two. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And it resonated with your beautiful sounds. If you're out for a personal one, all you need to do is send me an email. The email is in the description box below, together with the link to my Patreon page. Over 170 exclusive videos, additional discounts. Make sure to check it out. All right, guys. Take care now. Bye. My lovely option number three. Hi, and welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy. Think about yourselves. Think about the person that you're asking about. In the vision, the energy coming together. Let's go ahead and take a look whether they want to be together with you. Okay, so you thought it was just the one card? No, I have three cards for you, my darlings. Okay, let's go ahead and open them up. 
freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear. If you want it to be that, if it's jumping out at me and saying, pay attention to that if. All right, let's keep carrying on the playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have fun together. And remember, love's the greatest healer. And the third card over here says what? It says romance, Cupid, arrow strikes. All right, let's go. Let's pull out that thread, guys. <laughs> okay, so you know what is showing me? Um, your energy is rubbing really well on the other person and vice versa, right? So what I'm seeing is definitely people who are attracted to one another. And maybe you guys got to know somebody who is quite serious or they have to be really, really responsible at work, you know, somebody with a lot of responsibility, somebody who is very analytical, focused. You know, this person could be working in IT, police, government, lawyer, things like this. And then you come through with your slightly softer energy yeah especially if you are a lady watching this you don't have to be but whatever it is your energy is softer than the other person's right and your cups are rubbing off on their swords wink wink right in a very nice way in a very nice way because here i'm saying that the person is definitely interested the person is a definitely developing feelings for you over and over and over and again uh, and the reason why i'm saying over and over and over and again is because it kind of feels like they don't like themselves where they are in that mushy state of mind right um they love the way that you rub off on them and at the same time they hate it because it, it kind of makes them feel vulnerable it kind of makes them feel that they're not being able to concentrate on something because they think about you okay right you're bringing out that part in them that has a lot to do with um physical attraction that has a lot to do with maybe bringing again so let me put it that way you bring out the part of them maybe that they don't completely trust it has to do with emotions. It also has to do with maybe spontaneous behavior that they don't usually go with. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like they're thinking of different strategies. But you know, you got a good one over here. You got a good one over here. I'm talking loyalty, I'm talking support, I'm talking fun, yeah? They might not have a lot of, um, they might not have a lot of time for you right now, guys. Honestly, they're showing me that something that has to do with their finances, something that has to do with their business, something that has to do with their affairs yes um something that needs to be tended to at this particular moment you might have other people that are interested in you i don't know if you're interested in them but they're showing me that you might have other suitors i don't know maybe you're online dating they're showing me loads and loads of people <laughs> from different walks of life okay And what I'm hearing over here, guys, is like you want to be sure that they want to be with you uh, before you show them that you want to be with them. I think it's the same for them, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> okay, so they fantasize about you, that's for sure. At night, they're showing me loads and loads of fantasies. This particular person might have a kid, you guys might have a kid, you might be considering uh, what it would be like. 
yeah if the two families would merge um, maybe there was some sort of conflict when it comes to other people coming into your relationship or trying to come into your relationship Do they want to be with you? Do they want to be with you, my lovely option number three? You know what, honestly, it's like the cards keep saying like um, a lot of things that they, they, they want to do, they wish they could do, they do it in their head, but they don't do it in real life for whatever reason. Maybe they're away. Maybe right now they're dealing with an ex and um, something, something, right? Maybe they need to finish things with somebody before they can be with you. But the answer over here is yes. They do want to be with you. They do see you as somebody who matches that energy that you bring out in them. It's really weird. It's almost like you're bringing in that transformation of their personality. And they might be resisting it a little bit. But at the same time, they're also seeing the good that this energy you bring out in them does. They're afraid you might not choose them. There's a very, very big fear that you might not choose them. But they do want to be with you. They do want to be with you guys. They're just taking their time. A big trust issue is coming through. Of course, always. Always a trust issue that's coming through. Um, for some more than others. But um, here you see, they're looking at you. They're fantasizing about you. And I just want to say, yes, they want to be with you. So let's pull out that thread. I don't know why I keep pulling out threads today. See, you might already be physically intimate with one another, but there's no um, no label to you as such. I don't know. Because here I keep getting the question, okay, so if we go for it, is it going to end up in a disaster or are we going to win? But see, wow, okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, they're telling me with the Emperor and the Emperor's card coming through together, guys. This is going to be a win. Uh, this is definitely going to be a win. I'm also seeing, you know, something along the lines of a power couple. Uh, maybe not necessarily now, but in the future, for sure, you know, because both of you have very nice, strong personalities. It might get you a little while to kind of fit in the way that's comfortable for both of you, you know, for people with two strong personalities, sometimes it can be very difficult to find their place in a relationship. But it's through work. Uh, they're telling me through work it's possible, you know, through communication, through work. And they're saying the more fun you have in your relationship and your connection right now, because even like the most important conversations can be done in a nice, playful way without pressure or accusations or anything like this, right? So they're saying more playfulness. And there's nothing stopping you, right? 
There really is nothing stopping you over here. And they're saying, if you don't want to be stopped. So go for it. Yeah, this person does want to be with you. They definitely do. All right, my lovely option number three. And that's what I have for you, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. If you're up for a personal one, all you have to do is send me an email. The email is in the description box below this video. And uh, there, in the same place, you also find the link to my Patreon page. So make sure to check it out. All right, guys, take care now. Bye.